Hi everyone, welcome to the Monday collab that I'm doing with Stamp Girl, who is Paige. Hello Paige. So this is the last sun, uh, Monday, excuse me, of September. It'll be the 26th and we're still using washi for this. So I pulled out, well, let me step, my original plan was do Christmas tags because I probably could use a few tags without buying some and you know I've been showing you in my storage and organization video that I'm in a collab with also that I use the sweater boxes which are a little bit bigger than a shoe box you know they're they have more room well I have one of those with lots of tags like for example these and I got a lot of them at Tuesday morning but also some I had gotten at Michael's some are like Julie Nutting, real big and thick ones, and some are thick ones from Michaels with um, fairies, and then I just have some craft and some oddball ones, loose ones. So, um, I decided I'd do some Halloween ones and some Christmas ones because I'm participating in a collab for Halloween called Spooky Something by um, Monica. I'll put a link down below. She's um, it's open for other collaborators too. Spooky, spectacular, spooky, spooky sparkles, I believe it is. Anyway, I have a project in mind, but I can use these tags within that project. So for this channel, and then I'm going to also do something on the other channel. So I decided to do a few Halloween ones, and um, I had these pocket tag pocket tags. They're black on the back with a gold glitter pocket. So I thought they'd be good for either Halloween or Christmas. Now I will say, I don't know if you can tell, but the um, the sparkles come loose. And I also found these from Hobby Lobby Paper Studio. Um, it's a bunch of these smaller gold polka dot and gold striped tags. So I used some of those. And then the, for the washi tape for Halloween, I had this from um, Stampin' Up! current through the end of December. I have this, I don't think this was originally in here, but I have this box from Recollections of all different holidays. So you can see here's some holiday, um, Halloween ones. And then these, I think maybe this was in here and not this. Anyway, you get the idea. These are Scotch brand, which I either got at Target or possibly Walmart. I don't remember where I got this. I don't think it was in this box that I was on. Anyway, so the first ones are Halloween. And originally, I'm going to take these. These are just in here, uh, not decorated. But these I decorated, mostly the back. So these are the two sparkly ones with washi. Now this is not sparkly on the back. This uh, twine is Stampin' Up! Retired from Pampered Pets collection. It had this and some kind of thin red ribbon. Um, and this is current ribbon. It's Orchid Oasis and it has a sparkliness to it. So I just doubled it and trimmed it off at the edge. It's um, kind of slippery. It doesn't want to stay. So I had a little more sparkle on the front and back of that one. But on this one, I did not. I just put the Happy Halloween washi across the front. And then I actually later discovered I had this. So the one that has the dots here, I decided I'd add these little tags in here for now. So a tag within a tag because I don't have a card or anything to put in. And this one too. Now these didn't come with twine. So the twine came out of a different pack. And then I'll show you that in a minute. And then this one I took the Stampin' Up! washi and I just put a strip of each color where the white would be partially, but I didn't want to go over the hole nor all the way to the bottom. So I just put it in the center. I think that came out pretty cool. And then this is Stampin' Up! Current Parakeet Party. Um, let me get the exact name of what the style ribbon is. Metallic woven ribbon, 1 8 inch, and it comes in all the in colors for this year, of which Parakeet Party and that Orchid Oasis on this one are part. So those colors are great for Halloween. <laughs> they, it's not exactly the same. Well, I guess it's the same as that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as that um, 
washi. Actually, I think that's supposed to be old olive, but this is a little bit darker than that, but it goes pretty well. So that's just an extra one. So I have those for Halloween. And then, actually, I'll leave this here because then I did Christmas, and originally I was just going to use these, this tube and this tube, which I've had sitting here, and I've rarely, I don't think I ever used this one, but I had used some of this, but not much. So again, that black sparkly tag, um, I don't really like what I did here, so I might change, change this. This is washi. This is also washi. And then I put washi on the front. And then this is current shimmer ribbon from Stampin' Up, which is also not my favorite. But anyway, um, yeah, I might change that one up. And then um, I did another one of those white striped tags. But in this container, there's these four little thin washies. I love thin washi. So again, I did the every other one, but I didn't I didn't want to use the blue ones on this. So I just used the trees, which actually have a gold in them, too. And then this airmail uh, thin one and um, the twine I'll tell you about in a minute. Same as those others. So I used those for the that tag. And then and I also used it. This was a random tag I had in my tag box, which already had these sort of taupe, grayish, tannish, brownish gray um, lines. So I just took the four thin washies and alternated across and put them where the white stripes were, except for at the very top. I didn't bother there because I was going to put this Stampin' Up! trim which comes in a pack with gold and silver i think it's still current but don't hold me to that left it white on the back because i'm planning on stamping to from or merry christmas or something on the back so that's that one and then this one is a craft tag but you can see a line there that gold was already part of it no idea where i got some of these and i just again put washi on the front I'm actually thinking I might get some kind of a little charm. Uh, I have to look through my beady stuff and see what I have because I'm thinking of hanging a charm dangle on the front of some of these for Christmas, like maybe a Christmas tree for this one or a Santa charm, something like that. And I'll stamp on the back. So I showed you those. And then I had five, four, four of these left. They're also craft, but on the other side, on the front side, I didn't think of that. I should put that on the back. It had, um, colors around the punch hole. So two were like light pink and one was blue and one was something else. I can't remember. I think like teal green or something. Those are Hampton Art. I really don't know where I got them because there's no price on them. I'm not sure. But I had four left of those 12. So I'll deal with that later. Um, I used the, let's see, the larger tube? No, I used, okay, on this one and this one, on all of these, I used this row of washi here from recollections so and i left again left the craft back black blah, blank now these are um a little bit thicker than some of those other loose ones i had but i just did different washi tape designs across them the ho 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 is going over these two a little bit because i had a space there i wanted to line it up with the edge kind of but yeah and then this ribbon is current Stampin' Up! ribbon, which I don't really like for cards. I don't really like it for cards, but I do like it for tags. Um, it's called Mini Ruffled Ribbon, 3 8 inch, and it's in real red, so that's perfect for the holidays. It's actually a little brighter red than the colors in this washi, but that's okay. So this one says no peeking candy canes candy cane stripes or candy stripes and ho 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 and this one 
uh, these two and this one. I only did one horizontal. Um, this one, actually one vertical, I guess I should say. This one has a snowflake pattern, which is in here somewhere right here. And then the stripe and Merry Christmas, but I put that over the plaid and a little bit of the stripe. But I, I, when I put the hole back in, it covered up part of the Merry, it's okay. And then the green trees. And this one, I think I like the best. Um, couple plaids, stripes, snowflakes. I ended with the plaid, I had to cut it off. And the ho ho ho's I put over the, the stripes. So yeah, so I have those four tags plus uh, let's see, this pocket tag, which I could put a card in or something. I'm really seriously think I'm going to change that Merry Christmas on the back. I don't like it. I really rather like this one with the little design because I didn't really like that taupey stripe on it, but it looks okay with the other washies in there instead of just white. It had a little like for you stamped in one of these two or on the tag. I just covered it up. Actually, excuse me, I actually really like this one too with the little washi again. And then this is a pretty basic one, more vintage. And I may go around the edge on some of these, um, maybe closer to when I get to use them. So let's see one, two, three, four, and four. I have eight Christmas tags and three sparkly Halloween ones. Oh, and this twine. Um, the, the black with gold tags came with, where did I put those? Came with white twine on them, but I didn't use it on those. So what I took off the three, I used two in these tags here. I put the white twine in these little ones, which didn't come with any twine. And also on this one, I just doubled it over and cut it shorter. So I used the twine that came on here that I ended up not using for them. See, um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please go see what Paige has made now for October, starting on the 3rd of October, which is the first Monday. And for one, two, three, four, we have five weeks in October, five Mondays. We're going to be doing background stamps and background dies, either or, mostly background stamps. I only have two background dies, but I'm going to try and fit them in somehow. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're doing in the whole month of October. So I hope you'll come back and see us and see what we make with our background dies. I'm guessing that Paige has some more than I do. I don't really have that many of either stamps or dies that are background but I do have some all right guys take care have a great week and we'll see you the next time bye